The Belgian government continues to search for one of the authors of the deadly attacks in Paris last week. After the city remained on lockdown most of the weekend, the police and the army raided several areas in Brussels Sunday night. 16 people were detained. Argentinians have elected right-wing candidate Mauricio Macri as their next president. Candidate Macri won against Daniel Sissoli by a tight 3%. With a pro-market and neoliberal rhetoric, Macri has promised change. The Colombian government announced it will pardon 30 members of the FARC guerrillas. The decision comes as a token of goodwill on behalf of the government delegation. The pardoned men were jailed for rebellion and had not committed any violent action. French President François Hollande held a meeting with British Prime Minister David Cameron to discuss ongoing efforts in the battle against the Islamic State group. Cameron announced he would land a British airbase in Cyprus. The Syrian army announced it had made significant gains in the battlefield. According to state media, the Syrian army has recovered control of the cities of Mahin and Harawin, the two main cities of the province of Homs.